Alright, when making a Rube Goldberg machine, you're going to need a bunch of stuff and a lot of space. I usually use my basement, there's a ton of room, and you're going to have to start off somewhere high up, like a pool table, because a lot of the events need gravity. You're going to need a lot of boxes and tables to put stuff on. And here's some of the materials that I usually use. First of all, this marble track. I got when I was like seven. I use it more often than I do now than I was when I was a little kid. A bunch of marbles. Some string. They're good for pulleys and everything. Hot Wheels tracks are really helpful to guide a marble across or something. A yardstick. I also use half of toilet paper rolls that I just cut in half. I use those as tracks also. You can just tape them together. You'll need a lot of tape and scissors. Here's some more tracks that I use. I don't know if they're Hot Wheels or what, but they're pretty cool because they just stick together like that. Most important, dominoes. You're going to have to use a ton of dominoes in most machines. And as long as you put them close enough together, they work every time. So you're going to have to test most parts of the machine for the final run, except I usually don't test dominoes because they work almost every time. And it's just a pain to put them back up. But if you're like me and don't have a ton of dominoes, you can use video game tape. Or you can use like cards or cut out pieces of paper or something and just fold them up. And those should work most of the time. So yeah, dominoes are really important. And let's see. You're gonna use you're gonna wanna use a bunch of just use a bunch of toys, anything you can find. Like mouse trap. Always use that. The cars. A lot of people use catapults in their machine. But let's see. You don't really want to do something that's like that, that like flies through the air because it's not very accurate. And most of the time, you have to be super accurate or it's gonna fail. You can expect like one fourth of your ideas to not work even if you test them separately and they do work but you could have like in my last video I just set up this poster board and catapulted a ball and it just hit that over which pulled a string so yeah you gotta be careful when you're doing stuff like that I don't really have good string, I just 
they use skate laces and stuff. One thing that you can do with strings that's often used in Rube Goldberg machines is a pulley system. And since I make mine in my basement, I can just put mess with the ceiling tiles and put the string around that. And now on one side, I usually have something light, like a domino, that's blocking something that's on a slope, so it'll roll. And then a basket or a cup or something on the other side that a ball would roll into. So when the ball goes in, it'll pull the string and allow something to roll down. Oh yeah, and have a bunch of flat surfaces. I just use random pieces of wood. So yeah, just be creative. Do whatever you want. You can use a book or something to guide the marble down. You can do this if you have a pool table. I usually do that. You're gonna need a lot of time to make it. So get a bunch of materials, get a bunch of ideas going. Usually you could spend a couple days on it. Try to take your time as much as possible because you'll start getting ideas, you'll be able to test your machine, make it more accurate, and yeah. If you're running out of ideas or you just don't know what to do next, then what I usually do is I just take a break, watch some other YouTube videos, get some ideas. Feel free to watch some of mine and get some ideas from it. Yeah, test your machine a lot and hopefully it works. It'll take a lot of patience and time.